Are you ready? What is taking so long? What are we waiting for? How's it going, peeps? Happy hump day. And quite frankly, I am fed up with what's going on with the Lions. You guys have asked me, why aren't you talking about the Lions? Well, when I did in the previous year, I had a lot of high hopes and expectations. I always do. For Pete's sake, I have the Lions, the Pistons, the Tigers, and the Red Wings tatted on my arm. I love these teams to death, okay? But there comes a certain point in time where I take my fandom out of it and I look at it really, if that's the correct way of saying that. Yes, I talk about the Pistons in a positive light all the time because they have a future, they have a plan, a lot of young talent. Uh, Casey's above average coach, if not a good coach. Matt Patricia, I wanted this guy. I, you know, I figured he would be the guy who take that Jim Caldwell team who was nine and seven and get him to 12 wins, win the NFC North, win a playoff game, eventually get us to the Super Bowl. And we have digressed in every aspect. He was supposed to take this defense to the next level, but instead, him and Bob Quinn traded away some of our best players, let the best ones go. Ziggy Ansah, who was injury prone, don't have a problem with that, but now he's in Seattle. Seattle looks like they're going to be a favorite to come out of the NFC. I think I'm really high on them. Uh, Darius Slay is now in Philly. Philly's struggling, but we don't have a lockdown corner anymore. Trufant's been hurt. Uh, Oware's really been the bright spot, but... He's not a lockdown corner. Okuda, he's got some potential, but he's not ready to be a lockdown corner. And what do we do? We run a lot of man. We traded away uh, Quandre Diggs, who's also in Seattle, having a pretty good season. He's been pretty, playing pretty well since Seattle. Why we traded him? I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. It's because he did not keep his mouth shut in the locker room. Sam goes to Slay. Those are why those two guys aren't here anymore, because they didn't buy into the system. And now we've seen people like uh, uh, Quinn, who's got his own YouTube channel, check him out. He does a show all the time. Uh, but he's taken to Instagram, bashing Patricia. Dan Overlowski, the guy who ran out of bounds on the 0-16 team, is bashing Patricia of how bad of a coach he is. The guy who ran out of bounds. He should not be talking bad about anybody. But that's how bad Patricia is. He's getting ripped by a backup quarterback who doesn't even know where the out of bounds are. Shout out to Dan Olowski, man. He's the GOAT, man. I'm not, I'm not ripping him. Um, that guy's cool as a fan, man. What is going on with this team? What sense of direction do we have? And do not come into my comments tell me this is a rebuild. Patricia was not brought in here to do a rebuild. At all. Why does he only have 10 wins in his first three damn years as a head coach? The players do not buy into the Patriot BS. Whatever Patricia thinks he is, he is not. The thing I don't get about Patricia, and the thing that I'm so devastated about is he's trying to be Bill Belichick. And from what I have read and, and heard from other people, play, players, personnel, people who cover the Patriots on YouTube, is that Patricia was the players' friendly coach. You know, uh, Belichick was the bad cop. Patricia was the good cop. Players liked him. Comes here, he's the bad cop. People are not buying into this BS. We have shown no improvements since he's came here. W what aspect of football have we gotten better at since he has taken over? Nothing. We have ran the same scheme since he has gotten in here. When we had the Caldwell personnel here. Now that we have the Patriot players that we want, now that we got the players that from Seattle that we want, that Patricia Quinn wanted, what are we doing? We're still running the same scheme, and we're still getting killed. It is week four, well, week five of the NFL season. We are one in three. One in three. We have blown every single game that we've been into this year. Every single moment. Every single moment we had a double-digit lead, and we have lost yeah, it's not all Patricia and Bob Quinn's fault. At the end of the day, the players need to play better. But at some point in time, people, you have to open your eyes and realize this guy's the problem. Now, is Caldwell the answer? No, he, he, he wasn't. I liked Caldwell. But in the games that it mattered, we couldn't win. I remember the year he got fired. I think we were playing Baltimore. It was a must-win game for us to get into the wild card. And he only had 10 players on the field. I'm not trying to say bring Caldwell back or we should have never fired Caldwell which we shouldn't have 
we shouldn't have. Technically, he's like the most winningest coach we've had ever. But we go from that, a guy who was taking us 9-7, making us it, making us watch games in December when it mattered against Green Bay. A couple balls went against us, a couple penalties went against us, but we were in the race every single year. And now by week five, I don't care anymore about this team. I never did. And you guys who are the Lions fans, come on my channel, it's like stick to the Pistons, Drew. No. No. I'm not sticking to the Pistons. Not this time. I tried to tell you guys, every time I came on the round table, every time I tried to talk about the Lions, I told you guys exactly what's happening right now. Patricia is not the guy. And for that, Bob Quinn's got to go to. You you single-handedly destroyed what little promise we had with those 9-7 and seven teams and just toss it right out the window. But I know people are here, I'll give him a fourth year so he can do it in his fourth year. No, this dude was not brought in here to do this. He was brought in here for us to win playoff games and get to a gosh darn Super Bowl. I'm trying to keep my language, people, but you guys don't know how hard it is. I love the Lions. I love watching the Lions. Even though we suck, I'm probably still going to power through and watch most of these games this year, but it's like, why? It's just wasting my time. Yeah, we might beat Atlanta. Yeah, we might beat Jacksonville, but I don't want to watch a team that's only going to win two or three games that doesn't really show us any potential. That we have no young player that's exciting to watch. My favorite player right now to watch is Adrian Peterson. How much time does this guy got left in the NBA or NFL? Seriously. What game changer do we have defensively? What dog do we have defensively? We don't have one because all the good players we had, we traded away. What good coach do we have? We don't have one. Bevel's okay. But even then, that guy makes some questionable calls. I just, I can't be optimistic with this team anymore. I don't know what the direction of this team is. I don't know what our goal is. If you guys watch Patricia saying he's got a lot of work to do, what work do you have to do? You inherited a borderline playoff team. And now we're nowhere near where we want to be. Sheila, I hope you're watching. I hope you're listening to the fans on social media. Get this clown and his boss, Quinn, the F out of my city. The, the, this team is a joke. It's a big fat joke. It's to the point where I'm listening to 97.1 to listen to Mike Valeni talk about him. And I don't agree with Mike Valeni very many occasions. But when he talks about the Lions, I certainly do. He was right from day one about Patricia, people. Rather, if we like it or not, he's seen it before most of us. And I even gave Patricia a, a pass after uh, year number one, but season two, I was out. And I knew after season two, year three was not going to be any different. And here we are, right back in the same boat again. Healthy Stafford, relatively healthy team. We got one win on the year. In his first three years in the league, he has 10 wins. Get this clown out of here. I don't care who you call up to be the coach. I don't care if you move Bevel to the coach. I don't care if you're getting your playbook from Madden at this point. Whatever you have to do to get Patricia out of here, Get him out of here. Houston fired their coach, who was also implementing the New England way, after they traded DeAndre Hopkins and started out 0-4. The guy was in the playoffs every single year. You can't trade away stars and give us this result. Yes, Houston's going to have a rough year, but they got that dork out of there too. Get our dork out of here. Send him back to New England. I don't care. Whatever you have to do, get him and Bob Quinn out of here. I am sick of watching the product that is being produced. We have nothing exciting to watch with this team. Nothing. Leave your thoughts down below. If you guys want to smoke, as Jemma would say, it would be free smoke Wednesday. Leave them down there. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, all that good stuff in the description. Check it out. And I will see you guys here tomorrow. And that's the bottom line because Double D said so. Peace.